Hello and welcome to Daily Records. I am Tommy Burton and we are continuing our look at the Beatles and we're talking about their solo careers. Now we started with uh, John, Paul, George. I bet you know who today's going to be, but it's not his first solo album. This is actually his third album, but I wanted to talk about it because it's really, really a great album. This is Ringo, simply titled Ringo by Ringo Starr. Now Harry Nelson fans will notice up at the top here, do it on Monday with the little Apple logo. Um, Ringo and uh, Harry uh, Nelson were good buddies. It's a gatefold. And this is just a really, really solid album. Now, Ringo wasn't ever known for being, um, you know, just one of those essential artists. This was released on November 2nd, 1973. Uh, but it was a, this was a very successful album. It reached the top 10 on the UK album charts. Um, it reached the top 10 in the US album charts. Uh, and it actually had uh, quite a few hits on it. Now, he had done uh, an album of um, standards called Sentimental Journey. Hey, Ringo was doing it way before anybody else. He'd done a country and western album called uh, Buku's of Blues. They both came out in 1970. He did a couple of singles, um, 71 to 72, It Don't Come Easy and Back Off Boogaloo, uh, which he had done uh, with George Harrison, funny enough. And those were big, successful uh, singles. They were, they were hits. Um, and they probably should have had albums to support him, but, but they didn't uh, because Ringo was spending some time um, in the movies uh, doing some acting. And so he finally decided to go um, and make his first post-Beatles rock album. That's why I picked this one, uh, because this technically is his first solo album in the sense that, um, of, as far as rock music. Now, he had worked with Richard Perry uh, with Sentimental Journey, so he brought Richard Perry in to produce the tracks. Uh, now, he went to L.A. to record the album, and he went to Sunset Sound Recorders, and he basically sent out word to all of his, his music buddies and said, hey, you want to come make a record with me? Uh, Mark Bolin uh, was around, uh, four members of the band, uh, we'll just say minus uh, Richard Manuel, Billy Preston, always around, Klaus Foreman, there's that name again, Nicky Hopkins, uh, Harry Nilsson, and, and Jim Keltner. Uh, as well as those guys, guess who else shows up on this album? John, Paul, and George, although separately. Uh, the opening track, I'm the Greatest, written by John Lennon, featuring a harmony vocal by John Lennon, also George Harrison. There's a mini Beatles reunion right there. Uh, there's a Randy Newman song. One of my very favorite Ringo Starr songs of all time, Photograph, written by Ringo and George Harrison. Uh, and it featured, uh, it featured George uh, on the album, on, on the song. Another George Harrison song, uh, Sunshine Life for Me, Sail Away Raymond, uh, Year 16, which was another hit. Um, another George Harrison track, You and Me, Babe, co-written with Mal Evans. Beatles fans know exactly who Mal is. Uh, oh My My, another, another minor hit. And a fantastic Paul McCartney song, credited to Paul and Linda, Six O'Clock, uh, featuring Paul and, and Ringo um, playing with... Paul and Linda playing with Ringo. And when you hear it, it's unmistakably a uh, Paul McCartney song. This is just a really, really solid album. Uh, and it really establishes Ringo as, as, a, as a formidable artist. Um, stepping out from the Beatles, finally. It took him a few more years to do it, but he did. And uh, he did so with, with a great degree of confidence. Uh, Ringo is best when he surrounds himself with, with brilliant people like John, Paul, and George. And a lot of them are pictured here on the front of the album, uh, a la Sgt. Pepper. And, of course, there's Ringo down there in his overalls, looking great. Um, a really, really solid album worth seeking out and listening to, uh, Ringo by Ringo Starr. Today's Daily Record. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's TommyBurton75. In the meantime, I will see you all again tomorrow with another daily record.